Hello and welcome. This week I have been playing with one of my Bristols. This is where you can insert a Sid James dirty laugh if you really want to. <laughs> PKE 809M was new to Mateson and District in 1974. And I've been getting her ready for her winter hibernation. I gave her Gardner 6LXB engine a run up. At some point in her life she was retrofitted with a 6LXB instead of the usual 6LX engine. Now here's a fun fact about Bristol VRs that you may or may not know. Originally the Bristol and Eastern Coachworks badges were carried on the front panel as well as the rear panel. The Bristol name was also carried on the wheel hubs as well. But with the beginning of Series 3 production, the National Bus Company decided it didn't want the badges on the front of the bus because it didn't want a conflict of interests with its own double N branding. And Leyland, in its infinite wisdom, decided to remove them from the hubs as well because, well, Leyland just didn't like anything that wasn't Leyland. And that just left the Bristol VR badge on the back. But did you know that there was somewhere on a Bristol VR where you could still see the traditional Bristol scroll? That's right, on the brake pedal rubber. So coming up on my channel... I've got a little video that I've done about the restoration of the back end of my Leyland Leopard JKM165V. When I say back end, I mean part of the back end, a very small part of the back end, the sign. And that video will be with you this Saturday. The following weekend, it's the return of Classic Bus Histories. And you have spoken and voted and told me which episode you want me to make. And we will be doing the history of the Foden NC. Now this may look like a porter cabin that has been dumped in a field but I can assure you it is a Foden NC. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss out on these forthcoming videos. As I always say thank you ever so much for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>